Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We are back in Euro Truck 2. Uh, this is the first triple screen Euro Truck coming to the channel, or oh, my setup anyway. So we're going to go for a drive. I'm just trying to go through all my titles, all my games and make sure that everything's working. And So this is the next one on the list. So we'll get back in the cockpit view. Obviously we've still got the joystick hooked up. So we can still look out the out the window and look around and that. Obviously if I move my head you can see that you can see right out that side of the truck. It looks a little bit distorted on the camera. I've, I've tried my best. Obviously you can't see that screen. But I, I've tried my best. If you put the camera straight behind then uh, that, that screen looks like it's going in on itself. You have to be sitting like in 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 the middle of them for it to all look correct so let us know what you think i've i've tried my best so we are going to stick the lights on is that uh i'll double check them top lights are working as well oh why aren't they working uh which one is it again i don't know why this keeps going off and on again it's doing my head in uh, so that's, that's them working the now right so we've got the iPad set up again as well up here with all the gauges on because as you can see the view will look quite close to you but obviously it's not to me it's nice to be able to finally use the mirrors of the truck <laughs> right so we want the window wipers on and we're just all we're going to do is we're just going to drive to a job and just try and pick up a job that is handy that like being able to see you forget how, how much you you know you can't see still a car coming we'll go after this car obviously I'm still using the head shifter in the clutch it's just you won't be able to see the head shifter because it's on a different side now down here on the left we're gonna pop in and see if they've got any work on for us types of trailers I didn't realise. Uh, where's that one off to? I kind of wanted to get out of the UK to be honest. Uh, we'll go to job market and we'll pick on where we are and we'll just pick a decent old job. So that is a tarmacking machine which we haven't done again it's 400 no 620 mile so and we're in a big truck anyway so let's get on it then so again you'll have to bear with me guys to get settings and everything set up on all the different titles and and i, I know people are going to comment saying the the view looks quite uh, far forward but it is about right. Uh, so where are we going? Or are we just going over the road? Can't see out the left one very well, though. Eh? Oh, thought it was on the wrong side of the road. Sorry, guys. Ah, we're in here. This is where I should have come, you see. We've got the lovely old rain today as well, which you can't be helped. So we're going to do that job. Uh, I've had a few questions, comments about doing a Let's Play series on Euro Truck from the beginning, which uh, I'm more than happy to do. So that will be coming to the channel at some point. Uh, I can't tell you when because 
I just don't know at the moment with changing the setup around and all that. I've uh, got myself a little bit lost in the. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're changing the setup around and things. I've got myself a bit a bit lost with the video, so I'm trying to catch up. I really am. So be bear with me. <laughs> I did a video on setting up the three screens as well, just to give everyone an idea. Right then, so I go on the left. Nothing coming. Straight over. I didn't think that that was going to indicate. I think that car just pulled out in front of us as well. Oh, I nearly hit the curb. That's why I, I tried to get the, the triple screens done as fast as possible, uh, you know, because I didn't want to miss any. I know some people have been waiting patiently for videos coming out, so I'm trying my best not to miss them people. We're not in any rush, so we'll just uh, follow these people. Because we're turning off down here anyway. Oh, there's no need to be going that slow, come on. Yes, I try to set the camera up where you guys can see this this screen as well. So I think it looks about right. Obviously, the camera is actually like here, like pointing in sideways. So even the front one will look a bit. It will look a bit odd to you guys, but I promise you, it's it is right if you sit in it. Uh, but again, it's not for everybody. So we are going left because we're going to Sheffield, and we can turn them off now. Oh, that was close. Where's my gears at? Come on, gears, come back to me. You're in there somewhere. Can't find it, grind it. Eh? Right, so we want to come off this slip road. Handy, you see, you can see your mirrors. That is bloody good, that, like. Awesome, we're on the road. We're getting 60 frames as well, roughly. So I might need to tweak the graphics a little bit, but we'll we'll wait and see. We've got fuel. I've tried to set the webcam up the best I can, like the actual box on the OBS. Uh, obviously, if you see the check out the new uh, setup video, uh, it's not a setup of the whole room, but it's the new me building this setup and you'll you'll get to see that it's got a four screen as a 32 inch uh, TV on the top basically just for OBS uh, you know just so when I'm recording for you guys I can uh, I can see what I'm doing <laughs> well, we've got a copper there and we're speeding sorry mate be speeding again aren't we we'll just uh, get on the brake a bit there oh it's a 50 now I thought I was going a bit quick yeah I thought oh no I'm speeding but it's just because of the bloody truck <laughs> So again, I, I know I'm going to get comments and that, and obviously the screens, with, you know, with the screens, especially in here, that they don't line up and that across the dash. Granted, they don't, but again, I've mentioned it in the comments and things. I got the screens, I got a couple of them for basically nothing, people helping me out, 
uh, and obviously I mean one of them's 12 years old so it's not perfect but it works and it's a, it's a great driving experience and you know you can't beat a bit of DIY you know building a frame and that out of wood especially wood that again I just had laid about uh, it was never going to get used for anything most of it was covered in bird muck so it needs painting I get that it, it'll get painted the same as the this rig so but uh, we'll get to it but you know go and check the video out it's uh, it's worth a watch uh, I, I, I did my best on it I'm certainly no I'm not a professional uh, you know vlogger or anything like that but I, I'm trying <laughs> so you keep you guys in the loop so I take it we're going to the ferry I would imagine Getting a bit uh, low on the old speeds. I've just gone past the uh, Manchester sign. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to be back anyway. So I don't know when this video is going to be going out, but th there is still some single screen videos to come out. Obviously, I don't have a single screen anymore, but they're there. They're already recorded. I may as well put them out. Uh, again, I didn't. I didn't know that I was going to be changing. I woke up one morning and thought. I actually woke up when there was a few more comments asking, "Well, where's the three screens gone?" And I thought, "Well, they're still here. They're just not built." So I thought, I'll "Tell you what, I'll do a video. Show you that it's not actually that difficult and or that expensive, if you you know." So there's loads of sites around like you know Gumtree and eBay and things like that these aren't fantastic TVs but they are all the same Hertz all the same uh, resolution you know apart from the top one the top one's only 720p but again it's a top screen it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be decent like well, it's a shame because when I had the three screens I put two videos up one of me farming one of me drifting uh, j j just two videos and both of them were, were you know sat on YouTube for months and and then all of a sudden they got quite popular and I'd already changed my setup by then uh, and I never actually got time to do any trucking videos or anything like that with a triple screen so it felt a bit of a shame because a lot of people enjoy the trucking so that, that was another reason I thought ah well you know why not I was this TV on the right is, ah, uh, it, it, it's 12 years old, it's not in great condition, but it works, and the reason I stripped it before was just in case it broke, I, you know, financially couldn't afford to replace it either, so I thought, ah, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll, I'll create two setups before it breaks, but again, it's still going, uh, and it looks great, so hopefully we can, at some point, we'll get around to replacing all three with three nice new ones but well, we'll see or at least three of the same size should I have said There's a car pulled out to overtake. What are you doing? You're in the middle of the road. They're going a bit slow, these like. Go on, guys. The sky looks beautiful. Oh, it's dying on us. It's actually good as well. The way I'm sat in my rig, I can 
my wheel actually lines up pretty much perfectly with the one on the screen. <laughs> which is quite good. Because it always used to annoy me seeing the one on the screen moving around and that. So it's quite nice that I can't see it now. <laughs> you can see my uh, my little man wobbling around. Look. <laughs> No, I'm happy with it anyway, but no, please, as I say, go and check out the video. I, I only, you know, I did the video just to try and help people out, just to make people think maybe they had something sitting around the house that they could make something out of, and I was kind of hoping that once people have watched it, they're itching to go out and build something. That was the, that was the plan, like. If you're wondering what I'm looking over here for, obviously that's my other screen, so I'm just looking out the screen. <laughs> oh, he's going slow again. Hate that. You see it in real life as well, you see power truckers having to slow right down. I had to put my smoker down for that. Terrible. Again, uh, with the webcam side of things, I have said in another video, I think it was a farming video, I do plan on changing it, so I, I am trying. I, I, I want to up upgrade the visual quality and the, uh, the oh, what was I going to say, microphone quality and the audio. I'm trying my best. I'm using what I've got at the moment, but I know it can be frustrating if you're listening to someone with really poor audio. twisty uh, section today I apologize if it's a little bit stuttery I mean it is sitting around 60 to 80 frames but uh, as I say I've still got a bit of tweaking and adjusting to do so you'll just have to persevere with me at the moment We're getting close to the ferry, but I can't really remember if I'm being brutally honest. Oh. The splitter buttons are on me button panel down here if you're wondering what I'm looking for. Oh, it's a nice boat out there. Hi, boat man. It's a bit tight round here, isn't it? Should have. Uh should have got set up better for that corner, driving it like a racing car. Farmers, that is great seeing the tractors and farmers and that out. It's awesome. Again, if people, if people would rather see the uh, me using the shifter and all that, I can, uh, I can put the webcam on the other side. But obviously, the main part of the triple screens is the fact that you can see out the dashboard way. That's the main point of view, so I thought, well, I'll show you that side. I, again, my room, it's a deep, don't get me wrong, it's a decent sized room, but it's not huge. So for trying to get the webcam, it's not a brilliant webcam. It's 720p, but 
it's not fantastic obviously I'm only recording in 720p at the moment so it's perfect but the actual wide lens of the point of view is, is, is it's just hard to capture like so I was trying to get it so it looks like I'm sat in a truck so let me know if you think I've got that or not Ferry terminal. Keep sitting a bit far over in the middle of the road there. Probably don't need my lights on now either, do I? So where are we going? I'm assuming we're going there. I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> I should probably check, shouldn't I? Ah, if it makes no. If it makes me journey longer, who cares? I don't care anyway. We'll see. <laughs> I'll I'll check the now like. <laughs> ah, we're in the boat. Uh where are we here? Please don't say I went the wrong ferry crossing. No, no, I went to the right one. Ideal. Right then, we still don't need any fuel. Truck isn't broken. So let's get on it. What side of the road do I need to be on? That's the question. It'll be the right one. Probably have a light back on the now. Eh? was uh, no big panic there, we, we managed that fine. But again with suggestions and that guys, you know, towards videos and towards setups and you know, all this carry on, you, you know, cameras and webcams and microphones, just let me know, like, if you think something needs changing, let me know. Uh, I'm just uh, doing my best at the moment. I uh, I do need a new headset, obviously with a microphone at the moment. I I do plan on getting a standalone microphone at some point. Oh, I got myself a bit confused there at that junction. Yeah, I do want to get like a rogue rogue mic or something like that, something really good and decent in the future. But again, I do need a new headphone. It's got a cable on it, and obviously. Uh, I don't know if you know the repairs down there, but I had to repair it. I snapped it when I had a seizure. It got stuck in my harness, and uh, obviously then I snapped it. So I've soldered it back together, but it's not perfect. Like uh, so, I, th that is an upgrade that must happen at some point anyway. So I am I am going to try and improve camera quality and things. And you know, obviously I, I do talk a lot, as you've probably noticed. <laughs> so audio quality, nice harvester there. I don't know why he's got his pipe out, there's no tractor about. Who's he gonna offload to? Well, I think we're gonna be ending up in the dark. I don't know how well you guys will see on here in the dark, to be honest.
Oh no, it says 7.20, so that, that'll be 7.20 in the morning, won't it? We're going to get stuck at the red light, are we? Oh, we are. Oh, that was a... Uh, that was a vicious red light there. We'll stick the hand, the, the old handbrake on. And that's our tarmac machine, as you can see. Nice looking. It's going to be tight through there from. Should be us ready to go, I think. I know all my handbrake's on, but I'm not gonna release it, am I, until till we're ready to go. It's gotta be us. Is this truck gonna come through? Oh, there we go. Didn't even honk back, did he? Rude. Hey, there's a Volvo. That's what that's what we've got. Come on, truck. Power. Right, so I don't think I've been down this road actually. Still got 504 mile to go. Wow, it's going to be a bit of a long, long haul. This one, eh? Awesome though. I'm enjoying myself. We're in 12th gear now, like so. That that'll do us. We've got a drink. We have. Oh, I'd be no good as a real truck driver trying to get me drink, and I'm going like this. <laughs> Also, uh, I think I mentioned it in the Q and A that I'm going to be doing every week. But if uh, any of you guys is up for me having a Facebook page, I think I'm going to go for it for the channel. Uh, you know, I'm not. It doesn't matter if it's not huge. Like it, just give you a few guys to a few guys to chat, and it'll be nice. Whenever I'm like, because obviously my setup's fully DIY, it's made from odds and ends. As much as it looks, people think it looks amazing, but it is literally just a bit scrambled from here and there. Whenever I show it in that, if you're in groups and things, people always, you know, have a go at you or, or they're saying you're a show off or whatever, but I like to show it because it might give someone else an idea they might look and go oh yeah I've got them old boards off our old fence outside I could make a, a rig or something out of that that you know that's what I when I look at someone's setup I don't go oh god that's way better than mine even the ones that have got like 30 grand in them I just look and go oh brilliant yeah oh I like that idea look where he's got his keyboard I fancy that so that, that that's the point of my stuff I, if, if someone else can go oh yeah I want to make one of them that's what what I like and then you know if we've got a Facebook page where you guys can you know if you've made something or whatever you can actually put it on there and go oh, hey look Matt look look at this or can you help us with this and then I can it's hard in the comments on YouTube because you know you can't put pictures in and you can't you know I'm getting that many emails and comments at the moment I am struggling to keep up with replying to everybody I'm trying I really am uh, but if there was a dedicated page where someone could put something on and then I can go and check it every night that probably might work out better but let us know what you think anyway it's only a suggestion just noticed we've got a few jaggies in the cockpit as well but I think I've got the graphics turned right up, I can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe have to venture back in there and have a look. Yeah, there's a guy riding a bike. <laughs> Boy, he's out with a wife. Oh, 
<laughs> there's one nearly hit the wall. Oh, there's loads of bikers, not even anyone walking. Oh, nice warehouse. Nice over this end of the map. I like it. It's quite uh, quite beautiful actually. Scenery's oh they've done an incredible job. Well I love this sim. It's just, you can drive up the same road in this right ten times and you'll always notice something different each time. Well I do anyway. Probably I'm not paying that much attention the first time, that's probably the issue. Car coming. No. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. The only time I actually decide to try and get past someone is generally a car coming. If you've seen in any of the other uh, Euro truck videos, I do like to get past people quite a lot. But hey, why not? These heavy haul trailers are fantastic for not getting like stuck because they've obviously got uh, the, the, the rear turns as well. Forgot they would uh, press the splitter as well. I forget you get another gear. I've only just noticed on the top screen as well that you guys can actually see the rev counter and the gears and everything as well so that actually works out quite well it's hard because it's, it's hard trying to get a good view for you guys and also try and have the, the, the triple screen aspect of it And I know a lot of people actually watch the webcam uh, and when I get better recording stuff you might want me just to record from the outside I don't I don't know uh, I used to have like a, a DSLR as well and I only just found out you can actually hook them up as webcams as well so that that might be something to look into later on uh, have like a direct feed to you know but it, it, this works and I, I'm enjoying myself and I think it's quite nice how you can see the gameplay and you can see and you can see what I'm doing I think that's the it's hard trying to get a good size for both, but uh, the harvester's got his pipe out again. For what purpose, mate? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, as I say, it's hard trying to get the best of both worlds. But without you guys' input, I don't know what's good and what isn't. We're going for it again. Oh, there's a truck coming. Is that going away from us? Actually, I don't care. We're going to get past this guy. Ah, we're through. What are we what are we dealing with? Four hundred mile left. I thought I would do it. It's going to be a bit of a long video this one, but I thought, hey, my first drive out with a with the screens back, and it gives you guys a, a a nice look at the new setup and that. And I know obviously some of you won't be interested in the build process, so you probably might have not have seen that. But I also got. I wouldn't say it was a negative comment, but I got a comment on. I put a little, like a teaser video because I was pretty excited to have them back as well and I put a bit of a teaser video for you guys just to say look you know it's back to the room uh, but I just recorded on my phone which don't get me wrong my phone's quality is great but the audio quality is quite bad but I recorded from like the whole setup there was no gameplay footage purely because I just finished the setup uh, that afternoon and I hadn't even tried recording uh, so I thought, oh, I'll just stick that on, and I was talking to you guys as well. The audio was very, very poor. Uh, but the first comment was, I think the single screen was better, which 
I quite laughed because every other comment I've had is, oh, where's the triple screens? Not every other comment, but quite a few comments. Uh, but then I thought, I got thinking and I thought, I'll tell you what, it'd be really good to like build it wheels and then you guys feel like, you know, you can, I can, or even me, I can look back in two years and see the build process because you do forget what you've done. We're stuck behind a logger. He's going slow, like, we're going to need fuel soon as well. I also need to get a can of pop, so I have to nip into the uh, petrol station for a can of juice. Oh, he's turning off. That was a sharp indication, mate. Oh. I think I revved a bit high there. Like a big like housing estate over there. <laughs> God, it's busy, man. So I think we're just going to take a run to the next petrol station because I've done it before where I've gone, oh, we'll, we'll make it, we'll make it, and then I've been bricking it because we're not going to make it. Oh, I'm not going to pull in there because it'll be a slip road, I think. Is it a slip road? No, I didn't know. Oh, I nearly forgot to look at the mirrors there. <laughs> Wipe someone out. So, I am looking for thy petrol station. One thing about the three screens is the fact that you can actually look about, you know, because, I mean, loads of stuff over there. You, you, I, I do realise I missed that side of it, like, don't get me wrong, the actual messing about trying to get things set up and that on some different games and that can be uh, frustrating, uh, but I think I think it's worth it once you get it, once you get it set up correctly. I forgot to mention, actually, we're in the Volvo truck today. Oh, we're coming to like some sort of freight yard, I think. I wonder if we're back on a ferry again. Oh, we are, yeah. Come back on the ferry. Ah, there's a petrol station. Well, I need a can of juice. I think the petrol station's on the left. And then we'll go around the ferry. Oh, there's that logging truck we've been stuck behind. Don't park in front of the red light. I can't see when it's green. Oh yeah, I can. Oh no, that's not my light, is it? Just gonna pull forward to see if that can uh, see the light. I can see it through his window. <laughs> So we want to be in there, how do I get in there? Oh no, what? I don't know how to get in. Do oh, I think we need to go right round. So we'll be going left here then. I'll just nip through there then guys, eh? So I think we'll go on left again. We'll just jump in here. And we've got, I think, another 400 mile to go, I think. So we'll get that filled up. I uh, need to knock the engine off. 
actually forgot to put the on there you go right so when you get to the ferry I am actually you think I was joking but I am gonna grab a can of pop I am quite lucky to have a fridge in the old room, which again, people laugh at me for and think I've just <laughs> thrown a load of money at, but I got it second hand for like 20 pounds. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever bought. Right then. We don't, we don't need to sleep because we'll, we can sleep on the ferry. There's no one coming, is there? I don't know what I'll lend forward for, because like, that's going to help. Just it does, it makes you think you can leave forward and look out the window. Ah, we're gonna get a green light. Ideal. So then we'll go on right and then then we'll get on the ferry. Ah, now we can see the red light. And that note me kinda pop. Another thing that it doesn't bother me, but it's a shame there isn't more traffic at the ferry terminals. And I wish every ferry terminal you had to drive up onto the ferry because I like that. I think that's a great add on. Oh. Right, I am going to have to actually check this one because I've got no idea where we need to be. Uh, so, we need to go to. Got something, whatever that says. We'll, I'm gonna go with got. Uh, oh. Uh, so I can press enter. This is that one we need to go to. And there's the other one. <laughs> Ideal. Oh, it's getting warm in the old room now. Ah, oh, back to the old rain man. I think we'll be having the lights on again, eh? We'll definitely need the wipers on. Right, now we'll work out which side of the road we need to be on. I think it's the right. Oh, got a bit of the old lag out of there. I think it's just busy. I don't know what, what frame rate are we at. Oh, 58. Bit of clutch control there, check that out. It is busy in the, this town, like. And with the rain and everything else, it might be taking a bit of a hit on the, the old graphics cards. Oh, this is alright, like, I did have on the single screen when I when I changed this back over I'm pretty sure I maxed it out I had the scale and set to like 600 or whatever 400 I think it goes to so I literally had it as heavy on the graphics as it would go and for an older title it is quite heavy on the graphics like obviously with when you're running this sort of resolution I get that it's quite heavy but even on the single screen it was quite heavy uh, we want to move over, do we? I think we do. Oh, it's a, I think it's a double lane anyway. Not 
nothing behind us. Right, 274 mile to go. Oh, that was a bad gear change for me. I hope the rain's not going to last all day, like. Excellent. Back on the road again. That, that horn's really quiet. Eh? Well, you guys can see me Mitchell and Hat and everything on the dashboard. <laughs> Obviously you can't see it on that screen, but I don't really want to turn, but you can see it there, I think. Oh, yeah, I can't, I can't turn and drive, it just doesn't work. Oh, good old rain again. I love that when you go through a bridge and it stops. I think we're on this road for a while, so we'll just uh, get past this little red scan here. Oh, we're turning off up here. Where is it we're turning off? Oh, thunder as well. You got a bit of thunder and lightning there. struggling up here. Feels really dark as well, it's only like four o'clock in the afternoon on the game. It's a right miserable day, isn't it? It's like living in the UK. Check the mirrors. Nice. So considering it's my first day back on the trucking, like I haven't done any trucking other than this. Uh, on the three screens it, it is very easy to drive and especially when you, all your mirrors like you've got the one that does the front the two the four side mirrors it it's it is really good even the mirror on the far right there's one that does the door I don't know if you guys can see up there uh, and that does the bottom so you can see how close you are to the curb so it is literally as uh, you know apart from VR it's as real as it's gonna get obviously it would be more practical if you had three matching screens but again if someone's like me where they maybe only have 80 90 pounds spare at a time and you can go and pick up a second hand TV and then go and pick another one up I don't go out drinking or anything like that so it was just a point you know I, I, I gathered the TVs over like a year or so what we at there no one there no going right again I love how bright them lights are though they're awesome <laughs> just love the fact that whoever commented that I need to look back at that comment actually because he was a lifesaver, you know, I was complaining that you couldn't see the roof lights or the auxiliary lights and he was like, oh, just press F4 and put the roof lights and auxiliary lights, up, you know, tick them on and I was like, oh, been playing it for years, not known. And then obviously my dad benefited from it as well. I knew that was going to happen could have just gone through there yeah so my dad benefited he just just got Euro truck when 
we put a video up and someone commented that saying about the F4 turning the auxiliary lights on. So he, he benefited straight away from being able to see the big lights. But I, obviously I didn't know. So, but it, it was something that always annoyed me that I couldn't see the lights. But it was something that I never, I never went and like Googled it or looked on the forums. There's loads of information around. I probably could have found out that, uh, you know, that the lights did work. But I just, I don't know, it really annoyed me. And then I just didn't look. I don't know why. Well, I hope the day is going to clear up. <laughs> For those that are asking as well about the VR side of things, obviously, financially, I just can't go VR at the moment. Also, with my health VR, with having the cables around your body, like my headphones that I snapped, it's not practical. But I have tried VR. Uh, it was the DK2, so it wasn't the CV1. I... I know the CV1 has better resolution, completely get that. However, don't get me wrong, the immersion factor of VR headset is just second to none. I mean, you're sat in a truck, I mean, if you, for instance, you're using it for a Euro truck, you're in a truck, it doesn't matter how big your setup is, it doesn't matter how big your room is, it doesn't matter where your setup is, it could be in the living room under the stairs or whatever, it doesn't matter. As soon as you put that headset on, you're in a truck or a race car or a rally car or whatever you're playing that that side of it will never go away it's fantastic the resolution obviously you know is nothing even like my screens mine aren't as good as a monitor but better than what you get in the vr uh, the other side of it is I, I don't know if there's any headphone users out there but when you use headphones it disconnects you from the whole world which is great if that's what you're after but sometimes I just want to play a game and what I didn't put it in reverse did I oh, I must have done anyway yeah so the headphones completely disconnect you from the world right which is great but sometimes I've got my speakers on in my room and I'm gaming away and the dog will come in and I'll say hi to the dog and you know have a chat away can't do that with headphones and the VR headset's a bit like that also all the stuff that you make you can't see uh, you know you can't see the room or anything like that which is the point I understand that but sometimes it, the VR thing for me just got so real it was like uh, like so if I was going in for a race you put the headset on you put the you know you put the headphones on and then you put the VR headset on and it was just like going to a proper track like going to a race day and it was tiring because you weren't just going for a bit of fun you you were putting this on and obviously you get hot in it as well and uh, and it's so serious because it's so full on whereas like sometimes like trucking and things i like to put the tv on the top screen i like to relax and watch a bit of telly whether it's you know amazon or youtube or whatever it is but that relaxing me whereas i found with this you couldn't do that obviously with vr so i think there's there's negatives, there's pros and cons to both sides of it, but VR, especially when they sort the resolution out a bit more, is going to be, for anyone that's interested in sim, whether it be trucking, farming, racing, flying, whatever, you know, the actual sim world, it won't live without VR, it'll just be VR. Whereas I think games like, you know, games are more like fun games that people play, whether it be you know, like a first-person shooter or so. I don't know how serious that'll ever get on VR. I think it'll be more like have a go and be like, whoa, that's amazing, and then go back to your mouse and keyboard. Come on, son. You're doing... 30 in a 43. 
go faster. I don't know if we're actually turning off up here, or he might be as well. I am a little bit impatient, but I think that comes from the, the racing. turning off. Excellent. Bye bye my friend. Oh I think we're uh oh, I feel like I've been in the rig for hours. I'll laugh if I end the video and it's been like four hours. <laughs> I forgot to look to be honest. What time I started? We've only got 130 miles to go, so... That's the only thing with, like, a solid racing seat like I've got where it's a fixed back. Great if you're getting in to do a bit of racing. So you're purely getting in, strap yourself in, you're going to go race driving, you know? That side of it's fantastic. But when you're sitting like this, basically what you'll be doing in real life, which is, you know, driving the truck, it is sore on your back. <laughs> I have got other seats kicking about. I had two in with my, my old setup. I had another seat there. I've got two of them for the grey seats. But I like the racing seat. But I think I need to get something with a bit more padding. Well, maybe have a, a look on the old gum tree someday. See how that goes. down to that hundred mile mark. Is this a dual carriage there? I'll probably get past this truck up here. Loads of traffic on the other side of the road and I've ca I'm catching a lot of traffic but there's not much come past me. Maybe he's going a bit fast in the wet like. Oh you're going for the overtake. Whoa. That was uh, that was some dodgy manoeuvre in there. The rain's that sound effect. Brilliant. Miserable, isn't it? It's awful. That sounds awesome though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you've seen in the cockpit as well. All the bits on the floor and that. I might just put the handbrake on her. Eh? Are we going yet or what? That sounds awesome. I like coming in the outside view. We're away. I've just seen someone's commented on Facebook there, just uh, Facebook, YouTube, just to say, yay, I don't know even what they've commented on, to be honest. But we're not turning off. That's what I should do, I should, uh, I should read through some of the uh, comments at some point. Anyway, I need my dashboard back for my gearing. <laughs> Can't see what gear I'm in, can I? Without the dashboard. See, what I used to do is the app that I use on the iPad, which I have showed people before, but you see, hang on, trying to drive and talk. So that's the app that I use on the uh, iPad, which is brilliant, but it actually works on any web browser. So it, you can put it on the fourth screen as well. So I used to just put it up there, it was massive. And it, yeah, it was unrealistic, like, because you don't get dashboards that are this big. But it was great. You could watch in the rev counter, and this has actually got real truck dashboards in it as well. This app. I'm going to pull out on you. Sorry, mate. Oh, now you move over. Oh, I'll go back over them. 
Uh, yeah, so it's actually, you know, if you're in a Scania, you can, there's a Scania truck uh, one on there. I think I'm in a man, I've got a man one up at the moment, but I'm in a Volvo, so. But that, 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 that was really good, I enjoyed that. I've got a digital display here, uh, which works. So it shows your speed and your gears. However, it's all, the gears only go up to, the gears only go up to, uh, my words are terrible. What do the gears go up to, Mark? Oh, they only go up to a single number, so obviously it'll do one to nine, but it won't, it can't go into like, you know, 10, 11, 12, because it's only meant to do one to seven. Uh, sorry, it's only meant to do one to six in a normal car, and then it's got a reverse, so it's a single, it's only a single digit. So I've not found a way around that at the moment, but there's no need, I mean, there's loads of apps on the market like this that are completely free uh, and work great, you know. So, ah, 62 miles. So this is definitely going to be one of the longer videos, but hey, we deserve it. We've got the new setup to try out eh? I'm going to get a light, I think, set up for my pedals because normally you can see my feet, but uh, you can't because of the way the shadow is. Sixty-two mile. It feels like it's been a long drive. That one, great though. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I say, you got you got any advice for us? You know, with the whole where you want the webcam, what you want to see. I think this is perfect. You can see me. It kind of looks like I'm sat in a truck. Obviously, I'm not, but uh, you can see out the dashboard and that. I think this is about as good as it's going to get. Bear in mind, I did try the webcam in all different places. <laughs> so, anyone who's got three screens. I'll understand that when you put the webcam directly in front, that screen there, it goes out the way. It like goes out that way because you need to be sat here and then you need to look and it's the way that it's portrayed. Whoa, I wasn't watching. Oh, it was you. Last minute bloody fuel stop. I don't need fuel or rest, I don't think. Uh, what's my next rest in? Hang on. 3 hours and 41 minutes. I put the iPad right in the wrong place, but I bear in mind I'm still working on getting things back to where they used to be, so I, when I built the new uh, when I built the new sort of TV say TV stand, but you know what I mean, the stand to put all the TVs on. Uh, I built it a bit differently, so this rig fits perfectly now. The pedals are actually under the centre monitor, so it, it, that the monitor is really close to you. Another comment I used to get, not off YouTube, but just off people in general, was, oh, sitting that close must do your eyes in. I tell you what, I can sit on here for like five hours and me, me bum and me back will be sore before my eyes hurt. I never get sore eyes. It doesn't matter how close the screen is, my eyes never get sore. I don't know why. They just don't. Oh, you're going to go for the overtake. Foot down. Come on, son. It's going to clear up just as we drop the bloody trailer off. Oh, that bus just got done. Me, me, me racing instinct comes back a little bit. <laughs> People will be thinking they're going to be watching some serious sim trucker. But uh, no, nah, I'm just a sim racer that uh, can't race too much, so I'm playing trucking. No, nah, I'm just joking. I do love it though. Uh, anyone that uh, laughs at this sort of title, they, they haven't played it, you know, because I used to poke fun at it. My dad poked, I mean, you know, my dad drove for, you know, for a job. He drove for 30 years or something like that, you know, actually as a career. And, uh, and he said, that, you know, obviously the last thing he wants to do is sit and drive, but again, we got, we got him into it and, uh, and he's playing on it all the time which is fantastic thought my indicator was going to go off on its own there but it didn't nice little built up area oh this will be funny because all the complicated parking I've been doing on the single screen has actually been going quite well and I've actually surprised myself, but uh, 
but yeah, the with the three screens, I'm thinking, am I going to be able to park as well? Quite a tight place here. Eh? So, oh, we're actually going in there, are we? Oh, this is going to be a nightmare to park. This will probably be the tightest parking I've actually done. I'm really tempted to go with the easy park, but uh, we don't go for the easy stuff here, do we? I do struggle with the parking, and people, I think people forget that I don't drive, like, I've never driven, you know, uh, properly, and uh, I've all clearly never driven a wagon or anything like that, or you know, anything with a trailer on. So I do find this quite hard. Everything on the reversing side, everything I've learned is from this game. Oh, I think we actually went a bit tight there. I hit someone. What have I hit? I don't know what I've hit. Have I hit the trailer? I thought I was clear. Tight that like. You can't see a bean here like. If I'm being honest. I'm not sure what I'm hitting. I think that's the... Right, hang on, hang on. Ah, right, okay. I, I actually am hitting the... Sorry, guys, I'm just sticking my head out there. I keep forgetting you guys actually can't see this on the mirrors. I don't know if the F2 mirrors come up here. Ah, you see, there we go. We'll stick them up for you guys for now. Sorry, guys. I completely forgot, to be honest. What, what have I hit now? I was in. I think I'm just a bit close. How, how, how do I get the trailer to go? Over. It's oh, that's what it is. It's because it's it's because it's that heavy haulage trailer. It it it, it turns itself. I think we're in now. And we're in. We can knock them back off. Hey, awesome. Oh, I've thoroughly enjoyed that, guys. Got done for a bit of, bit of damage or being late or something, I think. I'm not actually 100% sure. We'll go and do our normal. We'll go and find a little garage to park up in. Up there. Well, actually, the actual garage is down here, so. What, where are we at now? Well, we're at a parking place, that'll do the job, that. Nicely done. Ah, 
Right guys, so we're going to end that episode there, so just the first drive out, I'm going to have more, uh, yeah, I'm going to have more trucking videos coming out, maybe it's like a trucking diaries or, you know, something like that, because you guys, a couple of years have asked for me starting from scratch with the trucking, which I completely plan on doing, I just thought, I'll get another couple of episodes out like this because I just want to make sure everything's working and that before we start, you know, messing on with doing like episodes every day and that. So, uh, oh, nice two trucks there. <laughs> Can you see out the window? Look. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, leave a comment, guys. Love hearing from you. Uh, love all the support and that. And uh, you know, like and subscribe. Really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.